Earlier this week, I was lucky enough to be interviewed by the Random Christian Show, which was a very fun experience. Links to the live stream is below. This video is a compilation of that interview. Feel free to use the chapter markers to skip around. I say nice things about my husband. I talk about random projects. Special shout outs to some coworkers and friends of mine. It was a really good time. Have fun. Hey, yo, Mrs. A's famous salsa buena. And you hear that music, right? Yeah, you know what that means. It. That means it's time for a woman who takes multitasking to like different levels of multitasking level. <laughs> uh, creator of the Friendly Filmmakers, uh, director, writer, producer, uh, actress, and God knows what else, I'm sure, welder. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it's Julia Tutko Bolena! Hey! Hey! Happy New Year! Hey! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Okay, before we get into anything, solve the mystery for us. Did we butcher I your name? I my name wrong. It's okay. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> it's, it's not super wrong, though, because like I, a lot of people read what's on the page, and then I just go with the flow, so it's okay. And especially <laughs> like in Italy. So think of it as a cultured experience that you've given us. It's, balena is the Italian way of saying it. Ah, is, it's a tutto uh, balena. Yeah, but <laughs> if you're in, in, in America... It's a, a Bellina. <laughs> to uh, go Bellina, but it's all well, a actually, down here in you know the southern central states, we like to say Tico Bologna. <laughs> that sounds about you, right, there. You, you, you took you took a couple Bolognas. I, you I made think that's pretty close. Put it Me and my prospecting buddies, we we got that pretty much right. Yeah. You got Merkel Whip on it too. Merkel Whip is American. <laughs> I'm just Murphy, saying. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Woo. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Julia. Thank you so much for uh, putting up with the mayhem of our our first uh, season back here. And uh, but yeah, I mean, you, you you've you've had new year, new trust, so far. Right? You're, you're still always. here. You're still here. So that's that's <laughs> the beauty of it. Well, the green um, room was fantastic, you guys. Like the coffee on point. All the green M Ms were sorted out, just like I had emailed you ahead of time. You know, good. Thank you. We we good. we did what we could. Not now. Uh, what what is the? Uh, we're coffee fans ourselves. What's your favorite blend of coffee? I gotta say, I like a good Starbucks Verona. Ah, oh, there you go. So you like the uh, darker roast? I do. It's funny because I used to work at Starbucks a million and a half years ago. And back then it was literally called like a mild roast. And then they did something right. called medium roast. And now it's in the dark roast section. So I'm like, you guys, the recipe ain't changed. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, Verona. So I wonder, I used to work there too. I was an assistant manager for, for I think a year and a half. So yeah, I wonder if like just the other coffees got lighter <laughs> that accidentally pushed so. Verona into the darker. People wanted caffeine out of it. So they're like, right. yeah, light roasted, light roasted, more caffeine, woohoo. And then, you know, your breakfast <laughs> blends and your house blends. And yes, right. they took over. The army yeah. of the light roasts <laughs> took over. Yeah, I, yeah, oh, I'm, I'm a huge dark roast fan. I need like espresso. I like and, my brew. Yeah. Right. And I like the, hmm, you yeah. smack. smack um, even though it roast. has less caffeine than the lighter roasts. So, yep. First, the burning will will wake you up. Then the yeah, taste right. will wake you up. Well, yeah. so if you've done it right, you get woke up twice. I, I, <laughs> it's a two-for-one special in every cup. Yes. Yes. Oh, there. Yeah, we've, we've already started the uh, the answers for uh, the questions. <laughs> yeah, for random questions. Um, no. I, I told you. I tried to warn you. We... Uh, <laughs> I, I grew up in, in transportation and trucking, and one of my first official jobs when I was a kid, when I'd go in with my dad on the weekends, was to make the coffee for the dispatchers. Well, I didn't know what to do, and so I'm figuring more is better, right? So yeah. I make this, like, you know, the right up to the top of the filter. And, of course, they're like, that's the best damn coffee we ever had, kid. You're making it from now on. I'm like... There we go. So then I got to try some. <laughs> wow. Boy, was my mom mad at my dad after that. 
I will uh, <laughs> I'll just say, hey, mom, guess what I learned to do today? I learned to make coffee. You know how you make coffee? You make it really full, and you make the basket this full, and then you take the basket, and you pour water into it, and it comes out, and it's coffee, and it's coffee that's really strong, and it really makes you suck, and you put a lot of sugar in it, and it makes you want to blow out and sweep the dock for like three hours, and then you put the dock back together, and then you move the brush around, and then you get, yeah. So, uh, and actually, my video pretty, really oh, Catch up was like perfect to how you were speaking. <laughs> I know <laughs> that was, internet glitch cooperated perfectly with that. Oh joke. my god, it was like, yeah, it was so perfectly well timed. I, Thanks, Spectrum, for anything better. Yeah, yeah right? Huh? They did something Spectrum, right. You for got once. something right today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, uh, so okay, so Julia, and the other thing I gotta ask is, uh, see, I tried to be cool, like going Christian guy random. Um, so what, what is with, is, is that like an Italian name where it's hyphen like that? Or is that like you're and your husband? I, or, yeah. <laughs> okay. I went and got hitched. <laughs> <laughs> I was born a Tutko. Um, but uh, then I went and married a Bellina, fell in love with a Bellina. So I married him. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Now, yeah. Tutko, what is it? That sounds more Eastern European. Yes, you got it. Slava. Nice. Yes, yes. <laughs> what is it? Uh, Polish. Oh, okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm uh, my my real name, Christian Madsen. It's it's Danish, and it's oh, cool. it's kind of like Peter Smith over in Denmark. So, and another thing, like I said, I like accents and stuff. I I find names I'm interesting. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. This one actually has like it doesn't end with the typical Polish ending of like ski. <laughs> um, so, well, it's true. I mean, but uh, but uh, it does have Latvian roots as well. So, yeah. Ah, yeah. See, I can't. Uh -huh. I can't I, my family tree. I got. I got to investigate a little bit more on on that score. But yeah, no, I'm Polish. <laughs> yeah. See, I can't. I can't claim that because uh, I am a Dracopolis. <laughs> One totally Greek. <laughs> he can is. Kala, yeah. Kala. yeah. <laughs> and every time we're excited, we say, "Oh, uh, break a glass!" Hey, hey! break a glass! <laughs> All right, because glasses are cheaper than plates. So that's okay. right. Yeah, <laughs> this was all explained to me when Andy, me and Andy first met. So, because uh, <clears throat> I awesome. kept saying, "Break a plate," he's like, "No, it's break a glass. It's cheaper." Right. Yeah. No, there's always a glass in your house that you don't mind breaking, you know, but you don't mess with plates. You just don't mess with <laughs> those, are, those are harder to come by. That's yeah. right. No. And then what? You break one and then now you have three plates? Yeah. Of you've the same broken design? not just one plate. You've broken the set. You double exactly. broke. Exactly. No, right. Oh, yeah. You don't don't mess with the set. Oh. Don't mess with the set. <laughs> Unless with you're it. willing yeah. to go to a yard sale and replace what you've what you've broken. Exactly. Right. You gotta you're go and you gotta find you gotta find someone who bought that set. And then don't buy the whole set because you can't have like seven. No, no, that doesn't make no. any sense. Right? No. You yeah, six you buy orphans running around, <laughs> exactly. polluting your cabinet. Right? Come on. No, you buy one. You complete your set, and then hopefully the other people who have broken those plates from the same set come to the same yard sale and complete their sets. There you go. That's the hope. <laughs> Um, that's, that's the hope right there <laughs> right exactly that's the dream that is the Some, dream somebody running the yard sale says here <laughs> complete your broken set here <laughs> <laughs> complete your broken set here <laughs> oh my goodness well and and there it is so we're we're all good um right. now uh okay julia so let's let's uh let's let's start from the beginning i guess shall we say I've been doing it. you have like, again i and i put in the title of this uh show that you are the multi of multitaskers um because when we i first started talking to you and stuff i'm like so you know what all do you got going on you know i know you were doing film and you're like well i do this and this 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 and then and then i'm a mom and so then i'm doing this and it's like i i you know i used to have a meth habit too uh but uh helps my body generates its own you know <laughs> i supplement it with coffee when needed okay see there we go and this is why we love coffee <laughs> mm -hmm. um 
So no, what, where did this let do? Is this something that you've been doing since a kid, just the acting and writing? I mean, it, I, I know a lot of people do start young and uh, it, it's, it's just, it becomes their passion, especially nowadays you can go, if you even just, uh, of course, invest your time, yeah. uh, which is the hugest part of it. It's like, it's like this yeah. show. I, I drive my wife nuts, but so tell, tell me how this all got started for you here. Cool. Uh, long story short answer is this. Um, I was always a ham. Uh, when I was like eight, I was doing impressions in my own living room. Uh, when I was nine, I realized that I, I was like, wait a minute, you can do pretend and get paid for that? Do you, do you pretend for a living? I'm like, sign me up. Where do I go? Right. Um, but of what course, was your first parents impression? were like, no, you are going to eat for a living. So that <laughs> didn't happen. Um, but I still had the dream of like stage and screen. Uh, when I was 12 or so, I started writing, scribbling, bibbling poems and short stories. And when I was about mm, 15 or 16, I got my hands on my mom's JVC, which was a big deal at the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. started making movies with my sisters in the background um, and just being good sports about the stupid crap that would enter this here little noggin and then somehow get it out into the world but it wasn't there was no world back then because the youtubes and the uh, twitters and the facebooks weren't a thing when i was right. a little um as you can tell so, we're a little aged ourselves so we it's true right. back we, then you had to chisel tablets and right, then right. you know somehow <laughs> mud paste them to the walls of your domicile i did a lot of people to look at your tablets <laughs> And that's how you shared your work. Yeah. But um, <laughs> but nowadays, yeah, you're right. I mean, the internet provides us, you know, it, uh, it, <laughs> you just, you, the, the school of YouTube, you go to learn things you don't know. Yeah. The, the, the industry of YouTube, you can post things that you've made and hopefully people right. will look at them and then like them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe subscribe to them. <laughs> right. Yeah, we're, we're still things. figuring that part out. <laughs> yeah, same, actually, you know. Thanks, Spectrum. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, spectrum. Wow. That's the villain of this story is Spectrum. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> oh, we so loathe Spectrum. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, I mean, I, I started writing. I, I found my way onto sets when I was about when I was uh, in college. That was the first time that I was exposed to it because I wasn't able. I, I wasn't um, studying film at the time because, as I mentioned, uh, no, you're going to eat for a living was a thing in my house. Right. And so. Um, I did the computers and I did the math and I loved all of those things because it exposed me to new uh, careers that could fund my crazy uh, love of film. Um, and so I built a career in those in those areas, but I always found myself onto either a stage or a film set, um, you know, on the side. It was always like yeah. on the side. But when I was pregnant with my first, I said to myself, all right, you know what? I should really set a good example here. Like, I don't have that many years on the planet as much as I like to dream that I do. And so yeah. what am I going to do? Like, I, I want to do this. I've always wanted to do this. Let's just embrace it and go into it. And so the same year that I had my baby, I also made a company. <laughs> wow. <'Cause>... Wow. Okay. <laughs> so again, yeah. multi multitasking. It's... Yeah. There's You're very like, few hats boy, that I have. Hold on. I'm editing. Down. Hold yeah, on. <laughs> it's yeah. true. It's like, oh no, this isn't hard enough. So let's just um, add a layer of complexity. Yeah, Five? right. <laughs> no um, pressure or anything. It's yeah. well, but I'm you know what? I mean, anyway, I have an infant. <laughs> but there's there's no better refocus of priorities than having a child and like realizing that you've kind of been like, oh, I've been floating here, I've been floating there, I've been floating here. Wait, now I'm responsible for somebody. Yeah. I should figure 100%. something out. Hundred <laughs> percent. Ask ask all my kids. I'm not responsible for any of them. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> These are yours. Well, <laughs> right. Yeah. And and trust me, they take right after me. And everybody's like, oh no, those are your kids. That's my dad. <laughs> uh, I, I'm gonna have to think on that for a while. <laughs> right. <laughs> As she swigs another, you know, half gallon. Yeah. Of what else is in here? I'm not telling. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We know. Um, real quick, what was your first impression? First, oh, Linda Richmond, Saturday Night Live, Coffee no. Talk. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, my God, darling. Mike Myers. Stop it. <laughs> I'm the Holy Roman Empire. Empire with me, the Holy Roman Roman Empire. Discuss. Discuss. <laughs> <laughs> 
the Civil War was neither civil nor war. Discuss. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> That's so, beautiful. That was it. <laughs> That's amazing. Yes, I, I, I do so enjoy Michael Myers very much. It's true. <laughs> he's great, right? He, oh, he's fantastic. Especially when he does heed punts. <laughs> no. Yes. I get that reference. <laughs> That's that's one of our favorite movies. <laughs> oh, that's a family favorite here too. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. And <laughs> if nobody's seen it, so I married an axe murderer. Best movie very ever. Good. Very very good. Um. All right. So so you're you're editing movies while you're giving birth. Um, <laughs> yeah. <very> and <laughs> and directing on on in between. Um. So after you push the baby out, what happens next? <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, cut scene, roll it. Pretty I want much. another no, take. Cut, I started cut the movie, not the court. <laughs> I was, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I'm done with this baby now to work on this baby. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I started writing scripts um, and just telling my own stories because before that, I was always, always, always on sets for friends and for people who had their stories and and were like, "This is a script that I wrote and this is a film that I'm making," and I'm like, "Yay, let's help." Um, but now I was starting to take point on my own projects. And um, that's that's basically where I'm at right now. Like I'll help on, on friend scripts, but I've definitely refocused more on the stories that were rattling around in my head. And like right now I'm talking to you and I am also um, just this this month I'm writing three scripts. Three. Oh, wow. <laughs> Two short films and a feature. Jeez, on top wow. of helping, like I, I've also got like slated for this year, helping out on other people's projects as well. Um, so I've got a lot. Yeah, and right. Fun, and I love it so much. Like this is <laughs> this is the life that I wanted. It's crazy, and I love it, and it's creative and art, art, and just fulfilling in everything that I wanted to do. So right. And, so and uh, that, that, okay, go ahead. Sorry, as you as you have like these multiple projects, because I so I'm someone who sort of struggles to write and I am like the classic of, uh, Hey, we need this tomorrow. And then suddenly like it's there. Right. And then suddenly yeah. I can put, I can put ideas down, but no, if it's a week out and then like it's there, then it's hard for me to sort of get going. Like you have three things in development. When are you writing those as sort of the inspiration comes or are, do you sort of like block out time saying, well, I need to do script one now, script two here. and that's Well, I since I work part time, um, I have to be very regimented about how I manage my time. I um, because yeah. I also run the YouTube channel that I do and I right. try to post shorts, uh, three shorts a week. I mean, I was posting a short every single day um, before the new year, but I'm reducing that to three and then long form video every week and then a live stream every month. And that yeah. takes a lot of work to keep going as well, oh, especially yeah. since I want, especially since I want to rededicate my, um, efforts to making the long form videos a little bit higher production value. Right. That's my goal, which is why I'm reducing that. It's a whole thing, right? You guys, right yeah. now, so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, <laughs> we got so many hours in the day, right? And then right. on top of that, so then I have these stories <laughs> rattling around for short film projects and, and the projects that I want to do. So I write in my spare time, but I do block it off. Um, so okay. sometimes, like, if I'm on the elliptical machine, I'll write down a couple, like, lines in the morning. Oh, my God. My you workout. exercise on top of all of this? Every morning. Atta girl. I try. <laughs> I, I walk yeah. around the dock. Got to take care of your body. You, you got to take care of it. No, yeah. it's, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it changes over the course of your life too. So, oh yeah, you know, you got to reassess and recalibrate and it's always like, you never find that balance and keep it. Everybody is always like, Oh, find your balance. I'm like, no man, you just tilt to find, to keep. The <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's always, it's always in motion. It's you're not balanced, please. What are you, what are you a gymnast? What do you right. carry? Struggle? Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reference. <laughs> and they nailed it. Boom. <laughs> yeah, seriously. One foot the balance beam and the editing machine, and I'm gonna direct this and well finish writing that edit, edit, cut, cut, <laughs> moving on. Hey, wash the dishes. I'm going over here. I'm gonna iron while you're doing. Okay. Yep. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. The trick is you use two hands to wash the dishes, and then one foot extended out to get that stretch to iron the clothes on the other right. side of the room. So that way there you, you get go. a stretch. You get two chores done. There you All go. Right. 
So, right. How long have you been married? Oh, um, eight years. To this incredibly yeah. patient, loving, understanding man. That is to the Balena. Married to the Balena. Hi, huh? hi, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> I won't use his pet name here. That's where okay. I draw the line. Uh, right. Oh that's right. no. No. That's no. that's home stuff. Yeah. No. That's home stuff. No. I'll, I'll tell you Andy's <laughs> pet name if you can tell me Trevor's pet name. What's Andy's pet name? <laughs> Spunky. <laughs> Just for the record, I'm hearing this for the first time right now. <laughs> oh, well then I call BS and I will not accept your trade. Okay, good uh, good answer. Good answer. Um, Good answer. Right. Don't play into that. Don't play into those games. <laughs> I embarrassed him enough when I met, when I dropped our uh, uh, his cutesy name in our wedding vows. Oh geez. Oh no, yeah. Okay. So, it no, was we, nice. It was where, lovely. Where did you meet this man in between everything? Is is he also in film and and uh, no? Acting? He's a he's a brain scientist. He's what? wicked smart. He's a neuro. <laughs> Oh, and he there is, it is. There is. I kid you not. He does like the right life-saving research. So I'm the idiot that makes all the films, and I'm like, I want to make people laugh. And he's like, I want to save lives. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is me and my wife. My wife is like, and she has a great sense of humor. Don't get me wrong, but she's like so deadpan. And I'll be like, Hey, hi, dude. Okay, watch this. Ah, I made a finger. And she's like, yeah. <laughs> I put a ring on that. Yeah. <laughs> so as we're talking in church, oh, church chat. Well, isn't that convenient? Shut up. Okay. Love you. <laughs> I'll be over here, honey. So, uh, all right. So oh, he's my, like, my husband's great. He's, he's a great sport. He was even in, I roped him into a few film projects too. So if you check out my YouTube nice. page, you'll see. Oh. You'll see him. And he filmed for me. He's a, has a he has really good um, vocal acting chops, too. Oh, he, he downplays it, but he's very talented. And so I roped him into um, to record an outro for my YouTube channel. So any YouTube video that you watch, you'll hear him. Oh, that was cool. him. Nice. nice. Yeah. I love <laughs> it. Belina. Um, so, uh, OK, so I mean, but he's like full on supported this. I mean, has there ever been like, you know, OK you gotta just pick a lane or something no he's just like do whatever you gotta do well yeah no he's he's fully supportive he's like he's wonderful like we talk about like scheduling around family events so that i don't like put 15 film shoots on that one week <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh honey i think i bet off more than i could show, <laughs> didn't i <laughs> <laughs> but besides that, he's a hundred percent on board. He's so, he's so, and he likes my stuff too. So you know that works. Right. <laughs> it's great. It's grandma's funeral this weekend, so you're saying we're gonna have access to a funeral parlor? <laughs> so let me let me ask you about that. Wait a minute, I got oh, a script for that. Early. It's too early yeah. for me to leave. Auntie, look sad. <laughs> <laughs> I am sad. It's not going to blow up. Turn into it. Give me a little. Like that dummy that's my Just shape of face. More. You think people right. buy it? <laughs> <laughs> what if I draw some teardrops on the face <laughs> and just put some sunglasses on there? Nobody will bother me, right? Somebody pinch Auntie. Somebody just right. Pinch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kick that kid. I need screaming. I know. Uh, no. I I didn't mean that really. Unless the kid's really annoying. We did. So. Um, <laughs> and by the way, I heard the Bostonese come out. Oh, well, I, it does I, I mean, from time to time. Yeah. That, no, that was wicked awesome. And, wicked. Yeah. yeah. Wicked. And then, and now. America runs on Duncan. That was good. Okay. Here, here, here's another one. When you go out and you're driving and you got to make a U-turn, what do you call it? A Yui. Banging a Yui. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're well, banging a Yui. Out here, it's called flipping a Yui or flipping flip a Yui. Yeah, but bang. You say flip a Yui over here, somebody will flip you off is what happened. <laughs> 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 but no, no, I was just. You better yell at you and, take your blink and tell you to put your blinker on. 
Yeah. <laughs> I you know when I lived with those guys I told you about that were all from from out there. Uh they're like, bang one, bang one. I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? Dude, bang a Yui right here. You f-. and I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh yeah, complete you the turn. sentence in your mind. God yeah. yeah, you turn. Um, I just <laughs> I found that was just hilarious. It, it is, it's it's lovely. Um local regional dialect as you would yeah. say <laughs> but i mean it's i love the way you can flip in and out of it and i can turn know. it on and off like a switch yeah <laughs> one and now, raised we, are you you're born and raised out there yeah okay your husband he's a canuck oh no really yep good day yep. all right yeah uh, he's wonderful he's super polite puts up with my bs right <laughs> This is explains there a, so much more now. Is there? Um, is, <laughs> is, does it? What does it explain? Yeah. Is there? A, um, no, no. I'm gonna yes hand it. Yes, it does explain everything. Yeah. Uh, is there a clashing of uh, NHL loyalty in the house? Ooh. Is he a Leafs fan? We're we're nerd fans, so okay. we're go with the flow in terms of sports. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. No, that's <laughs> think, like half the users just logged no. off. They're no. like, oh, she hates sports. No. No, I don't hate sports. I just don't care. Right. Sorry. Uh, Thank you. Oh, there you go. Oh, ding ding. Mwah. Mwah. Ding ding. Mwah. Yep. No, I I used to be so hardcore. I mean, I grew up with uh, Rick Barry from the Warriors and uh, basketball and stuff uh, out in the Bay Area. I mean, I was so hardcore yep. sports for the longest time. And about 10 years ago, I finally did the. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm spending every Sunday during football season from morning to night, Thursdays now, and Sunday nights and Mondays. And what am I doing? And then hockey. I got so into hockey. Oh, my God. And, I, you know, I'd subscribe to the game. It's why? What do these things do for me? Nothing. Nothing at all. Waste my time, my money. I don't get anything back from it. Oh, it's yep. our team. No, no, it's not. They, you, they're they your fans. You, and, the you know, oh, my God. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you making millions of dollars from right. your team? No. no, you're spending no. millions of dollars. Maybe not your team. Are, are, but but yeah. we'll shut down a city because they won a game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, that, yeah. Oh, and, oh, and then I found out about the Roman question. Circus. And do you know what I'm talking about? I know of what you're talking about, but why don't you uh, pretend I don't know and uh, maybe tell me? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a lengthy, but basically it's about how the Romans developed the Colosseum to distract uh, the masses and keep them from finding out about so many other things that were going on in the world. And, and it's right. Google it, it and you will tactic. probably yeah. learn to hate sports very much. Not, not really hate sports, yeah. but the fact that you... The old look over here tactic. Right. right. Well, I still, yeah, yeah. yeah, all the things. It's kind of like American politics. So um, anyway, uh, so now all, all your films and and uh, writings, they're all basically comedy based. Am I, am I wrong in this? Actually, there's a thriller that won uh, a whole bunch of awards and there's... Um, and there's a drama that won a whole bunch oh. of awards. And I wrote a musical, Dude. which was actually a comic. Oh, wow. So there's there's a whole bunch of, and, and mm, yeah, it depends is what I'm answering. <laughs> well, no, and, and I'm not uh, saying I no, have a lot but of, I mean, a majority of your stuff, I guess maybe it's because of all the shorts I'm thinking, but a yes, lot of your stuff right is now, I'm very comedy based. Yes, that part is, yeah, my YouTube channel is, is more comedy than anything uh, else. And the stuff that I'm writing is... Um, one drama, one comedy, and one animation. Oh. You're going to need some First voices for comedy. any of them? I will keep you in mind. <laughs> I will. No, I, seriously. Because I do have I do have some, um, like, multiple parts. And, yeah, okay. I, I'll hit you I up. got some multiple people up in my head. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, <laughs> too many. Too many in there. Too? <laughs> Why? So, um, no, that's that would be a... I'd love that. Uh, so, uh, I uh, okay, but what is it? Okay, and you said you've won. I know. I know you've won a lot of awards. Like I said, I got very distracted with your comedy shorts because obviously I'm a comedy idiot. Um, so, 
Well, now, now let's talk about the uh, the award winning drama that you did. What's what's the name of that one again? That was uh, Guidance. Guidance. Okay. Yeah. And it was now that a was letter to my baby baby girl. Okay. Aww. And how long ago was that? That was um, two years ago, but it was on the festival for about a year and a half, and it's actually oh, wrapping wow. up right about now. So I'm, it's done with its festival circuit. There's one more notice that I'm waiting on, um, just kind of on a lark. I, I submitted it to one more place, but honestly, I'm going to take it off the circuit and then I will have a public release pretty soon, like within this quarter. Wow. Okay. Um, and, and, and let me ask you something about these, because uh, I know it's a circuit. It's not just like, you know, yeah. this or that or whatever. And it just, but it's like you put your your film or your short or whatever in, for and it goes through a whole series of film festivals it's not like it just gets well, shown in one it goes to a whole yeah like you submit you submit for selection right into the festival and it, it's exactly. essentially like getting accepted to college like you're yeah you're just waiting you're just sort of cross fingers saying okay let me in guys let me in let me in Pretty much, yeah. You, I, I try to do my due diligence before I submit it because every single submission uh, costs time and money. Uh, yeah. And I try to write cover letters to suit each submission. And I try to actually investigate the, the festivals each um, to make sure that they would want something like what I've made. Um, right. Increase my chances of actually, you know, being accepted. Um, and I also try to shoot for the moon and go for the big festivals as well. But uh, that's that's always hard luck because they get tens of thousands of submissions for right, just yeah. and like like 20, 25,000 submissions for features uh, every year. Um, wow. Witness Sundance, Tribeca, Toronto, like those. Yeah, those are the higher. Yeah. Those, those are the S tier <laughs> that will probably <laughs> never accept a like a, an indie person with no SAG connections like me. Right. Um, but now, uh, aren't a lot of, I mean, especially nowadays, a lot of movies that make it bigger and even network series and things like that streaming, they're coming out of these small festivals. They're coming yes, out. There are of, people that attend them, but there's right. a, sometimes there's a name attached uh, it's still tricky to get in because even there, sometimes there's a name attached. Sometimes there's a famous yeah. cinematographer that took on this indie project. Sometimes, especially like during the strike, um, when people weren't working, they were working on indie stuff. Um, right. Uh, sometimes there's like a whole bunch of uh, unknowns being cast alongside Brendan Fraser, you know, right. uh, in a breakout film. Sometimes there's a really beautiful heartfelt piece that has a supporting actress or a supporting actor that we all know. And it features a whole bunch of unknowns is filmed locally. I'm thinking about Coda, you know, and has oh, a really good story, yeah. a lot of good heart and it got picked up. But um, I mean, I don't know if it would have been a, if it didn't have, Oh gosh, what's her name? She was on the West wing. Um, the deaf actress that is. Oh, uh, God, I'm so terrible with names. Uh, Marley Matlin. Yes. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, if it didn't have her um, in the credits, would it have gotten accepted to those festivals? Because right. it got picked up yeah. at Sundance. You know right, what I mean? Right. And Apple yeah. noticed it and, and the distributor uh, bought it from there. Like literally. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you see you see the journey that I'm trying to explain is like <laughs> yeah, sometimes right. you have to, you know, you're still it's still Sisyphus pushing a boulder uphill to make any sort of film. Sure. No, um, absolutely. And but but now the thing is, like I said. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's a lot, but th the thing is with the, like the, uh, the sun dances and, and all these other little film or not the little film festivals. These are the bigger film festivals. You, you no, know, even Those though they the call them yeah. indie movies and stuff, yeah. they're productions. They're, they're big based money based movies, even though they say they're not. And I mean, it not there, I mean, can't somebody expose these guys really for what they are? Because Ed, really, I mean, and you know, it's it's like uh, actors like Bishop Stevens that that we've had on the show, and um, uh, you know, so so many others. You know, they they talk about these film festivals, and you see some of these movies, and okay, yeah, maybe not all the super high quality that these big financed sure. indie like movies, yeah, get made right. with. You still see excellent writing. You see excellent production qualities. You see excellent acting. I mean, it's like, what is it going to take for people to kind of wake up and step away from these 
indie film festivals and to come and look at these other ones. I mean, what what is what is the big deal about that? It's I money. think it's just yeah, of course. <laughs> like if you, <laughs> that yeah, money makes the world go around. Anyway, the go around the world. Yep. <laughs> okay, we're going back to the musicals yeah. again. Yes, uh, here we are off the rails. Welcome back to the uh, ditch <laughs> by the train that we were on. And now we're going to push this train back onto the track and see where it goes. <laughs> 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 choo -choo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, short story is that I think, as with anything, art is tough because like, I think that yeah. a lot of people have great stories in there. And some, some writers who have been doing this for a long time can really crank out some beautiful, beautiful scripts multiple a year. That's just one person, you know, so and and you have a whole bunch of writers, a whole bunch of actors, a whole bunch of um, people who know how to use a camera. And yeah. all of them are vying for attention and vying mm -hmm. for because they want their work to be seen. So, I mean, I understand the competition. I'm no shade thrown. Right, um, yeah. And sometimes it really is just work, 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 work until you get lucky. And um, so sometimes like you can uh, hire a a spot for an a SAG actor and you will flip everything upside down because that one name on your poster means you increase your chances, you know, right. At yeah. Getting spotted at getting picked up at getting accepted to one of those top five uh, film festivals. Um, and that's the current system. And then there are other people who are trying to break away from the system and set up things so that short films like my stuff can get seen. Uh, you've got your two B's you've got your, yeah. what is it? film freeway is 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 a network that you know shoots films everywhere but you've got your other streaming services that are up and coming and trying to battle against the whole um netflix ne netflixification of everything <laughs> there's a word for you say, say that three times fast netflixification right. netflixification netflixification <laughs> you're welcome wow. um <laughs> i'll be over here <laughs> um wow so it, yeah there is just oh God. yeah I, it's just it's just a matter of, of of like trying to you you work hard to make the stories that you want and honestly at the end of the day that's what i want to do i if if my films get seen by 20 people in my entire lifetime but those 20 people are like yes that was really great i liked it i enjoyed it i wish more people could see it that right there fills my cup you know like fills my right. soul and right. keeps me going and i'm like i have more <laughs> yeah, all right. It's my twenty two. Well, oh, wait, there's go, more. Go fed, you know. <laughs> well, but and and that's the interesting thing about where we where we are today is that those again those film festivals were back in the day before the internet were a way for stuff to get out there. Yeah. Now, again, it's it you know, and I'm going to quote quote this, but it's easy to get a film out if you shoot it because you get a digital file, you can upload it to your to your channels and sure. distribute it sort of poorly that way yep. but just to get it out there and say yeah, right. hey it's it's there people can consume it right, right. and then uh, but uh, you know but yeah obviously if you want to make a a run at this or make it yeah. your business <laughs> then it has then you have to go you have elsewhere. to have, you have something to, you have to, else. right yeah. you have to dream a little bit bigger and and push it up it's also yeah. about the balance between the artist side and the I want to eat for a living side, the I right. need to my rent side. So right. oh, yeah. do you join somebody else's production house and still make your, you know, do like editing for a client or a series of clients for somebody else um, while still pursuing your own creative, um, creative dreams or right. Do you try to go it alone, but then you're a solopreneur and you have to be responsible for c running the books and right. for uh, getting clients and for reaching out on social media and all those things that come along with just, you know, being a business of one, you know? Right. Yeah. And uh, so you yeah. sort of have to make a choice between those two. Uh, at some point, any sort of creative person has to make a choice between that. It's like, okay, do I link up with somebody else and maybe not get everything that I want to do done? Or yeah. do I try to do everything, but then I also have to do these other things. So either way, you're doing stuff you don't want to do. Now that I think right. About it. <laughs> <laughs> One way or another, yeah, you're screwed, that. Julia. Yeah. <laughs> Just the way All right, I'm here to announce the end now. of Friendly Filmmaker. All right, All right. <laughs> As right, I Christian. sign up, <laughs> sign a contract. <laughs> oh man, way to go, Chris. We killed another YouTube channel. All right, there <laughs> we go. 
It's all right. <laughs> she signed in blood. It's okay. Right, yeah. it's okay what we need from her later. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's so. And I, I was gonna say, okay. So now you, you have a regular job, correct? I do not. My regular job is being with my children, who are both, uh, who are um about to be six and two and a half. Okay, well that's a, oh, that's wow. a job then. That's. <laughs> No, motherhood is a job. I don't care what you say. I mean, uh, you know, when I was married, I especially when my two youngest were born, I was like, you're not working. There's no way you can do it. And my ex-wife was a work. She she had to work. She just she didn't feel she was right. So I support. I said, okay, that's fine. You want to work. But we're doing it after they're X amount of years old, you know, Um, Mm -hmm. and motherhood is. Yeah, it's probably one of the toughest jobs I've ever seen in my life. Giving birth is one of the toughest jobs I've ever seen in my life. And if it was up to us men and we had to have babies, there'd be no more people. (laughs) No. Every every guy who's seen birth and, and if they say, oh, I could do it. Liars, liars. You're total liars. And no. No, I mean, so kudos. Uh, so yeah, motherhood <laughs> yeah. Is, is a job. And, but, uh, but before the motherhood. Birth can be you- wonderful, just throwing it out there is like, sometimes the stigma against, um, like we, I'm just going to stand on my little feminine soapbox for just one hot little second and tell all girls, Please. don't be afraid. Because yeah. honestly, it's not as bad. My mom joked with me. She said, I'd rather have all four of you again than have one toothache. And I totally get what she means now. Yeah. Because honestly, like those chemicals, our bodies are made for it. And yeah, yeah. as long as people respect the fact that our bodies have certain chemicals, certain systems, certain muscles, certain everything, DNA. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, those chromosomes do their own magic, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, we literally are made for it. And there are a lot of resources out there to educate women for birth and try to destigmatize the fear around it. Because, right. oh, my God, am I so tired of seeing women just uh, on on TV shows written by men who have no idea what it's like to give birth. And they're right. writing all these lines of, ah, oh, oh, I can't, I'm about to explode. That's not how it works. <laughs> like, that's right. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> like, oh, you sweet summer child. Right. Have right. Somebody <laughs> explain it to you that maybe, maybe, maybe has the parts you're writing about. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Well, just a quick little aside. Just so I don't want to throw it out there. Like, yes, I mean, they call it labor for a reason, but right. it can be a pretty positive and wonderful experience. With my first, I didn't have a very great experience. With my second, I did. And it's because mm-hmm. I, I mean, I attribute it to the education. Of course, a lot of it is luck. A lot of it is health. A lot of it is fortune. And that's where everything, um, you know, your support systems come in. But a lot of it is yeah. education and it's a lot of it is a mind game, too. So I just want to encourage don't to, to women who may not have heard this, you know, women who may not have heard this in their entire lives where we're trained to fear labor since we're tiny little kids walking around with Barbies, you know. Right. It's not it's not that scary. How it's many not. pregnant it's Barbies have you seen? Yeah, it can be a pretty positive experience. So, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, but how many pregnant Barbies have you seen? The, yeah, exactly. Apparently, yeah. they're all business women. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> they have Doctors. so many careers. But uh, you do get encouragement to change careers however often you want to. Right. <laughs> yeah. There is Sailing Skipper. That's right. <laughs> sailing Skipper, uh, Mall Shopping Skipper. Let's see. <laughs> then uh, you got Dr. Barbie. You got Teacher Barbie. You got uh, Computer <laughs> Programmer Barbie. You got Business Lady Barbie, which what does that even mean? Right. Yeah. <laughs> What's Ask your business? Not Barbie. What is your business? Yep. Haircut no Barbie. Business. That was a pretty cool one. I like the haircut <laughs> right. Barbie. Yeah, I had. Uh, I my... think at the end of my tour with Barbies, all of them turned into haircut Barbie. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'd have my G.I. Joe's tackle my sister's Barbies and like, welcome to the G.I. Yeah, and now don't they have don't they have like um soldier Barbies at this I'm, point? I think so now, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cool. these days for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Um yeah. so, so those would give your can your your uh G.I. Joe's a run for their money. 
<laughs> Probably kick their ass. Um, all right, so let's let's explain. Um, and I, I had it scrolling up here. Your little production company that uh, is called Friendly Filmmaker. Yes. So let's explain all that you're doing here with that. So far, just putting out my uh, projects and helping people make their hey, art, but also don't upbeat it. People. Just lay it out there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I run a newsletter every week. I also try to foster a community where like basically it just started with the people that I've worked with on projects before. Like they know that I can work with them on uh, future stuff. And I try to run a filmmaking uh, newsletter that is like, here are some gig postings that I know. Here are some yeah. uh, resources that I read. Here's uh, my latest YouTube video if you want to watch it. Uh, it's about XYZ that might help uh, people. It's trying to link up because like we got musicians, actors, directors, sound people, uh, writers, all sorts of artists on that one um, network so that they can link up if they want to make projects together. That's the idea behind it is that like I'm a friendly filmmaker. I personally have worn many, many hats on set and yeah. I just want to be able to sort of benefit my own network by making them meet each other on like an online forum. And so, I mean, it's it, for now, it's just a weekly newsletter, but I hope to expand that when I go full time at some point in the future mm -hmm. um, and to have like a, you know, a login page and like free resources for filmmakers because I, I sure. didn't have there's so much stuff that I didn't have access to because it's this course costs money and this camera gear costs money and all of this stuff, like everything, money, 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 money. And um, it, it's hard to learn all those things if you have to jump over all of those individual hurdles. So I'm just trying to push some knowledge out there into the world to help those kids get a little further faster. And that's basically what friendly filmmaker is about. Right. That well, and sharing my work. And it's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you're, you're also creating a, a nice community. Uh, again, you, you've had a lot of experience, a lot of trials and errors that you're sharing with these people. Now are people also sharing back? I mean, is, are you some getting are. Okay. Yeah, some are. I've gotten some emails from people who told me that, hey, thank you for, um, you know, posting this on your gig because um, I got two or three auditions from your latest newsletter. And so now I have oh, wow. promising leads that I didn't have before. Um, yeah. And then I have other people. Yeah, I was like, yes, yes, gross. <laughs> I love it. Um, and I have um, some people that are like um, uh, linking up with me to do projects that they otherwise wouldn't have done. And then I got some nice messages from people who are like, Oh, thanks for that latest video. It gave me the kick in the butt that I needed. Right. So I appreciate it. Like you said, it, you, you made a whole video to answer a question just for me. I love yeah. it. Thank you so much. And um, so I, I just want to keep on. Cause I figure if one person has a question, I'm sure there are at least 10 people that I know. And that means that there are like hundreds of people that I don't know that might have right. that same exact question. And I happen to have the answer because of XYZ experience. Right. Um, so why not put it out there on video form for it to live forever and help somebody else out? I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, th that's what YouTube is all about. You know, it's, it's such a, yeah. a learning platform, you know, it's like, it's like I tell people, I'm like, Google it, Google it. I mean, yep. Actually, Andy taught me that. Um, but uh, <laughs> it's, you know, it's 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 really amazing that, uh, you know, especially now. And I, I hate to ask, how old are you? 42. That okay. means I know the answer to everything. That's right. <laughs> you are the answer to everything. <laughs> I am sitting right yeah. here. And you know what? I think I'll stay 42 for um, ever. That there would also make you right. Ronnie Lott. Yeah, until I'm like 82. <laughs> Then I'll tell you that I'm 82. Ah. But until then, I'm 42. There so, you go. <laughs> well, technically, 15, really. Uh, yeah, seriously. Yeah. But physically, 58, but, you know, whatever. Um, but, yeah, we, I mean, back in our days, I mean, the Encyclopedia Britannica, you know, and those didn't really get updated every year like they said they would. No, and right. so as much as research, you know, so we were like, the, the generation that grew up learning about the media center. It's no longer a library. It's a media center. Yeah. <clears throat> and all the resources that you learn to use. I mean, nobody knows about the Dewey Decimal System anymore. They're like, what's that? I'm like, yeah, and, yeah trust me. I guess uh, it's an archaic, <laughs> some, some relic <laughs> that belongs in a museum now. <laughs> but it, right. it teaches you the basis of researching. 
And um, what you're doing is, I mean, you create so many shortcuts for these people and now it's, it's right there at their fingertips. And uh, again, it's friendlyfilmmaker.com. We're talking with a, uh, 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 Julia Tutko Belin, right? Molto bene, grazie mille. Oh. <laughs> um, so uh, she's she's a, 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 a what, what would be your official title that you would give yourself? CEO. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Nope. That nails it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I mean really well, I guess she's, she's whatever she needs to be for the person that's it's asking true. her but right? on this interview ceo yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i am the chameleon in charge right um, right you, i mean love it there's uh, yeah you have so many roles that you're doing it's it, it's hard to really title it but um the fact that you have compiled this put it together you've got your youtube channel You've got your your movies. You've got uh, an award winning movies. I mean, hello. Uh, this is where 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 do you stop? Do you no, stop? No, I don't. No, I found what I wanted yeah. to do for literal years of my life. And you know how some people yeah. are like uh, Michael Caine. He's happy to retire and he's done acting. Um, I'm not that person. I I'm the Judy yeah. Dench of the world. I'm like no, I'm. I, <laughs> I'm going to stop when my body fails me. Nope. Like, I just don't see this is this is joy for me. Creating is such right. a part of my identity and such a part of the air I breathe. Right. That it's like I want it's 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 as, no, I can't. <laughs> I'm not a retiring type. Yeah, That's not right. me. No, um, absolutely. I mean, right. I I missed radio. I loved radio. I grew up listening to radio. I everything about it. You know, I, it was my fave. And then I, I quit the family business uh, for 11 years, did radio, mild success, quit because I became a family man. Couldn't, you know, I, I can't jump around from job to job when you're right. like you are in radio. Um, so yeah. went back to that. And when I found out about this, I was like, yeah, sure. I'll give it a shot. And now it's like, and ask it's just where you find your yeah yeah where you my, find your my spirit. wife will be coming through soon going <laughs> i'll be done in a minute no you won't um <laughs> so but i mean she gets it and she and she understands it's my passion um so here's, you, here's to the loving partners in our lives that support our crazy passions right right yeah. so where, where, no 100%. what what happens here, from here, here? What happens from here? Where, where, so I'm where, getting better at this. Where's your next progressive step for you? So all I've done so far is feature, uh, sorry, uh, uh, short films. And this year I'm going to be working on features. It's going to be nice too. And nice. also it'll be the first time that I sell tickets to things that I've made. Oh. Two big steps Ooh. for me in 2024. Um, because right now I'm completely like, I've been working part-time on my business and trying to get the word out there and build my community and build everything. But to be perfectly frank with you, as with all things in art, there's very well, little money in it, Andy, but that's fine. Yeah. Um, and so if I want to make it a sustainable thing, I have to put my business hat on and, um, I have, yeah. I have ideas for, um, the projects that I want to do. And I, I know the strategy business wise, as well as um, artistic execution wise that I'm going to tackle them this year. So basically, as I sit in January 2024, I know what the next 12 months of my year theoretically going to look like, which is crazy banana pants. Yeah. I usually don't have that level of, of, <laughs> of planning. <laughs> It is, but I'm like, oh, calendar. Cal I wish I could just flip this camera around and show you one, two, three, four calendars. Oh, and there's one behind me. <laughs> oh my! And God. one on my phone. <laughs> I may yeah. be overdoing it, but yeah, no. If it weren't for calendars, like I don't know where I would be. I would be nowhere. <laughs> yeah, and so you're old school. You have to have stuff written down. I on like the old school. Yes, I do. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's a mixture because what I do is I distill my crazy thoughts onto paper form yeah. and then I can right. you know, decide what it is that I need to do in what order. And that's when I get digital. 
Yeah. That's when I digitized it. Well, and if you, but if you write it down, it's uh, real yeah, too. Yeah, 100%. You know? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and I mean, that's my thing. I used to have like you do, I'd, I'd have at least two calendars, you know? Yep. Um, but then I have gotten a lot better on doing the Google calendar thing on my phone, um, which I know annoys the hell out of Andy. I actually had to remove, I had my wife on it because she'd always be like, are you doing a show this week? Yeah. I'm just going to put you on the calendar. <laughs> and literally last week she's like, okay, I'm tired of getting all your stuff. <laughs> so it's been over a year. I don't need it. I'm just assuming you have a show. I'm like, (laughs) you know, um, like she was shocked the past three weeks. Well, not last week, but the two weeks before she was like, you're really taking two weeks off. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Nice. You really? Yeah. You you need this. And yeah, we needed a reset. If you want to watch one, the last video that I made about how to tackle 2024, I made a top 10 and um, like tips to attack it. And one of them was literally schedule time to take off like you need rest especially us artistic folks we need to recharge we need to go see some birds or smell some trees or whatever the heck we want to do we need uh, we need less less inputs and more like peace right you know in in andy's case just getting outside and shoveling the driveway that's right yeah Yeah. and then shaving the the three o'clock shadow Seriously. Yeah. Um, but this, I mean, don't shave it until you come back home because that's your protective layer, man. <laughs> no, it's true. No, it's true. Like I said, no, I shoveled this morning and I, no, that was the, yeah, yeah that was First it. you shake it, it off, this then it's all nice and clean for you. <laughs> right. And then you could go shave it after yep. you're done using it as a face warmer. Yeah. Exactly. No, or perfect. face itcher yeah. because that's all I, <laughs> seriously, this is as far as I go. I, my wife wants me to grow a full beard and I've gotten to the point where it's like, yeah, and Oh, I can't do it. Yeah, it's like, I want to peel my face off. Yeah. I want to <laughs> right. change yeah. this yeah. off of my body. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> um, so okay, now again, you were talking about having to charge for your films. Okay, how how do you go about setting all that? I mean, do you just come up with you're like, ah, I want two fifty a ticket? Well, yeah, it's. It depends on if it's an in-person event or um, thing. I just do market research, right. like with anything, right? And I also don't want to, like, fleece anybody. I'm not right. out there thinking that, oh, yeah. look, I'm Martin Scorsese 2.0. Yeah. Like, here, watch my stuff. <laughs> yeah, right. Riveting things that will change your life in 10 minutes or guaranteed, you know, like. I'm that. the new Penny Marshall. <laughs> yeah, for real. Right. <laughs> but if I see another buy this course now thing, I'm going to lose my damn. Oh. I'm going to lose it. Um Right. I, yeah. I've got this whole backwards. I was literally talking to a couple of friends the other night and I was telling them I've got it backwards because everybody is charging for courses, for information, and they're putting their short films out for free. I want to do the exact opposite. I think information should be free <laughs> right. and my art should cost money. So that's what I'm going to try to tackle right. in 2024, which is psh, good luck, weirdo. But hey, I'm going to try it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Well, I, I mean, but, and that's the whole thing is that you need to make money somehow. Right. Like, and you need to, and yeah, you know, you're willing to impart your advice for yep. free right now. Like, and that's, and that's sort of your gift. And, you know, if I need to pay four ninety nine to watch your movies, but I know you from YouTube and like, I got to see, like, I'm going to have to see what you right. do. Right. right. And I'm going to have to watch what you do at that point if I'm a fan. And so, like I, you do no, feel a certain like level of guilt. Every single ticket sale supports something else, like supports art. Supports Absolutely, the it's like, and and you're you're bang on the banana too because it's like I don't want to charge twenty dollars for a, a short film. Like yeah. that's not that's not it. It's going to be in the realm of that four or five bucks because it's like oh, here you go, <laughs> it's going to be so low yeah. rent this year too because it's like I don't have like this whole hosting site that's you know automated mailers or whatever else or file hosting or what have you it's literally going to be here go to my coffee shop pay me five dollars and i will send you <laughs> right. an unlisted youtube link <laughs> right yeah that's what's yeah. happening sorry everybody <laughs> like <laughs> well, I can do yeah it. and and uh you have this uh wonderful well. site right here called friendlyfilmmaker.com so anybody who needs to know information wants to know about her youtube channel what movie she's done what shorts she's got going on, all her award-winning uh, shorts, I should say, not films, right? That's that's wrong. For now. 
it's I mean, there's right. one that I was in that didn't win any awards, but it's pretty good because it's on Nebula and I contributed to this. Does anybody, do you guys know who Patrick Willens is? I know the name. He's oh. a big YouTuber um, and he put out um, a, a, a feature length film on Nebula and I contributed a clip that's in it. So I'm in his movie. Ooh, nice. <laughs> oh, nice. Wow. I put that on my website. Yeah. That's the first feature that that's I was technically awesome. in. <laughs> So, and, but okay, but nice. now all these extra helpful tints and stuff, all yeah. right there through friendlyfilmmaker.com. Anything that you're casting for, maybe you're going to be on there, right? I, yeah, I, um, I have to get better about updating that on my gear page because what happens is I put it into my newsletters and then psh, it's gone in the ether. If you check your inbox or your spam sure. folder, as you, as the case may be, <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, yep. Because, yes, thank you, Gmail, for blocking things that, you know, people signed up for, girl, right. yeah. as I found out this right. week. Lovely. No wonder <laughs> your, your open rate is only 60%. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. 40% are on Gmail. Guess who's not getting them? Right. Right. <laughs> I get a text message. Julia, didn't you send out, like, I signed up for your newsletter, but I haven't gotten anything. I'm like, check your spam folder. <laughs> right. <Just look laughs> and then white well, this yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. All right. Um, yeah. No, that's where that's where I, I try to update all of those things. So, <laughs> yes. I love the sound effects. See, I've got to up my Elgato game. Like, I you got the yeah. that go in with the sound effects. I'm here for it. I got to do more. <laughs> so far, all I have is a piece of copyright. <laughs> right. That's one of my faves. I do like that one. That's yeah. that's a popular one and it's favorite. I like it. Um, um, yeah, short story. Yeah, short story is that uh, just go to the Friendly Filmmaker website and you will catch links to all the things. You'll catch links to my Kofi page, my YouTube page, and even I just uploaded it with a carousel with most of my films on there. I have two more posters to add, and that's it. So yeah, all roads lead to Rome. Yeah, Good Lord. And and yeah, I'm like I'm gonna need a nap after this because. You just right. are just so amazingly like have so much going on. It's not even funny. Um, yeah. 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 I mean, you must all have that music air. playing in the background all it's forever in my head. Yeah. It <laughs> or, lives. Or the, uh, yeah. the spinning plate song. Oh, yes. Uh, what's it called? The bees. Fly to the bumblebee. Fly to the bumblebee. Yeah. See, I told you I'm terrible with names, but I got, I knew, yes. Thank you for that. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, uh, Julia, this has been just so amazing. I mean, we we barely even scratched the surface of all the stuff that you we really on. did. We yeah. got to have you back at some point. I would um, love that. Would, would, you, would you be willing to do that? I mean, absolutely. Hit just, me up next quarter and <laughs> in six months, whatever you want, whenever it's comfortable. I'm, I'm oh, so man. here for it. Yeah, we you would have. Well, when you have when you have a when you have a release, Ooh. we'd love to promote the release. Yes, yes. and show a trailer. Yes, I, maybe yes. As that's well. one other thing that I got to do is I got to cut together a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, no. When uh, yeah, when when you got something in your back pocket and you need to push it out there, let us know. We will gladly help promote it in the best way. I am Absolutely. overjoyed and very thankful. Thank you. All right. So well, listen. Uh, I know time's getting short here, and uh, I'm trying to position. There we go. Now, now we're back to where we okay. need to be. Um, I, fighting frames. Getting <laughs> short. Yes. We know. Crack. All right. Uh, find that guy somewhere. One day we will. Be, I'm pretty sure he's got like 20 different hiding spots. Um, so we're just going to light right. the house on fire, and we'll start anew somewhere else. <laughs> um, uh, he'll still figure it out. It's uh, but anyway, that yeah. gentleman right there is reminding us that we are close to the end, and he Stop. wants to hear random questions of insanity. Random, random yes, questions that insanity. we get it. Uh, this is just <laughs> a series of questions. There are no right or wrong answers, mind you. Um, uh, that. Our crackhead. Red silence is probably the only wrong answer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but you know what? You could give us the look of. I could just give you deer caught in the headlights. 
<laughs> right, right, yeah. <laughs> like mouth know. twitch. Yeah, we. I like this. Like, <laughs> that was good. Yeah, red, red alert. alert. Oh god, yes. red alert. Red, red alert. alert. Red alert. Yeah, red alert. yeah. That, then, oh. then that happens, and and we're I all. I have more stories about my life. Okay, stories for next time. <laughs> okay. Ask me about the rifle maneuver next time. <laughs> oh yes. What? Yes. Which, by the way, I share a birthday with so, him. Okay. Him. Oh wow. Uh, so real quick, the Riker maneuver is uh, how he sits in chairs. Yes, the Riker maneuver and is how he... he sits in chairs. But also as a director, uh, Frakes um, does the scale oh. of of shaking. And oh, I right. totally use that yes. move on my on on Dibs on Mars. <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh, oh, okay, all right. See, we're big Star Trek. Next time. That's a teaser for next time. Yeah, we're big Star Trek nerds. So, oh, um, huge Trek nerds. me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That. Okay. Show show her the starship. Show it show it to her. Oh right right right. right this right. is so. I saw cool. the communicator. I'm already here. No, for the that. communicator. Yeah, that was that was the communicator. So this light it up, but it also lights so up. I don't know. Cool. Stop that right now. Yeah. I'm See? driving to your house and I'm taking it from you. <gasps> That's so cool. Julia, yeah. we're now best friends. <laughs> we're now best friends because of that. Best friend status. Mm. Told you I was friendly. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> It's not just a clever name. <laughs> it's not. All right. So, Julia, with random questions of insanity, it basically just helps us delve into your psyche. Uh, there are no right or wrong answers. There are two base questions that we start off with, and I think she's good for both of these. Let's go. Uh, I, I'm going to I'm gonna take the uh, that there isn't one, but we'll see. Okay. Really? Yeah. Okay. Ask your question. All right. So our first question is, what is the best James Bond film? Ooh. From Russia with Love. See, I told you she'd oh, know. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Okay. Nope. Sorry. Hit the wrong button. <laughs> doing the right. wrong thing. That's right. Always... Yes. Hello, dear. Oh, Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, Andy, keep going. You got it. I got you. All right. Uh, so the second base question is what is your favorite sandwich? And like, so you can go to a magic refrigerator and everything for your favorite sandwich is there. What is it? What's on it? Bread to bread. Cold cut or hot? Uh, again, this is your favorite Ooh, sandwich. In that case, no my refrigerator what. gives me a Steak and cheese and mushroom sub with a little bit of mayo and toasted bread, please. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. No, good. I would ding ding if I had the uh, the soundboard here. <laughs> nice. Um, excellent. Excellent. Um, what was your favorite toy growing up? Ooh. PlayStation 1. Ooh. Okay. What was your game? Lara Croft. Yes. Yep. Tomb Raider. Yes. The Tomb Raider series yeah. was our jam when we were kids. That <laughs> was okay. our J A M All right. jam. It was awesome. Oh, that's Predating awesome. Predating that, there was that's, this beautiful little sock puppet. I remember when I was like five, my my sisters and I had these beautiful sock puppets um, that were like uh -huh. little dolls. And then you fold them and their hats turned into flowers. So it looked like a flower pot, oh, but yeah. then you kind of like opened it up and it was a that's little right. doll inside. That was also, that yeah. was a more like five-year-old me favorite <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> uh that's incredible <laughs> that's incredible um what's your biggest pet peeve Ooh, being Ooh, on this show a -holes. <laughs> is that good is answer that yeah i mean no there's a yeah <laughs> i don't like it especially on set um, you pick up the devos and the divas, and I'm like, oh, yeah, my God, you kid. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. All right, <laughs> my turn. Okay. Yes, your turn. Ice cream, cake, or pie? Yo, ice cream. Dude, what kind of ice cream? I Flavor? I like it all, but I'll take the chocolate coated almond bars from Haagen Dazs any Ooh. day of the week and twice oh, on yeah. Sundays. Okay. And I eat twice on Sundays. <laughs> I'll have two of those bad boys in one go. I don't the care. correct answer is chocolate chip cookie dough. 
No, chocolate chip cookie dough. I couldn't have that when I was pregnant because the cookie dough pieces. <gasps> I love you some That's America, right. American dream, you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, absolutely. American dream yeah. and cookie dough. My husband would share. My husband and I would get one of each and then share. <sighs> oh, oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. well, this is why I have weight trouble. <laughs> Right. <laughs> well, I'm I'm so svelte because of that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all the calcium really strengthens the bones. What's the best music genre? Ooh, that's not fair. There are so many good ones. <laughs> How about anything Aaron Emanuel writes? Um, that he's a composer that I just um, worked with on. Um, uh, the musical Dibs on Mars, and he was fantastic. He came up okay. with the musical bits for a song in literally, it was a 48-hour film project, so he put together an entire musical number for us wow. in under that, because it was like maybe 30 oh, hours wow. of work. Yeah. Yeah. So, quick plug That's... for Aaron. Uh, yeah. By the yeah. way, I'm signing up for, <laughs> I'm telling Aaron this, Aaron, I signed up for the 48th this year. You want in? <laughs> <laughs> hopefully we don't get musical again or maybe hopefully we do right <clears throat> yeah <laughs> all right Seriously. andy one more uh okay so you have a magic pen that you can write any name on your call sheet and they will show up <laughs> what name do you write william shatner Yes! yes! Oh! <laughs> I kid you not. Yesterday, I literally dreamt about this because I'm writing a comedy. I'm writing a comedy that's set in space. And who better for a uh -huh. comedy set in space uh -huh. than playing my space dad? I fan cast him in my head I as mean, my space dad. Oh my. Yeah. Oh, totally. Dude. Totally. Oh, so nailed it. That's That deserves an extra. Well done. Well uh, done. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we are out in the universe now, Julia. <laughs> Dear William Shatner. Yeah, it's gonna happen. No, you said it. It's oh, gonna I happen. I really hope so. That would be mind-blowingly right. amazing. <laughs> uh, okay, let's. Uh, gonna end it with. Eh, you have thirty seconds to tell the world something. What is it? Um, give me lots of money, love me forever, and um, <laughs> be nice to each other. But not necessarily in that order. Nope. It all works together. <laughs> Julia, you are awesome. That's all I got <laughs> Thank to you. Say. you guys Amazing. Do. <laughs> yeah. um, this, this has been absolutely wonderful. You got to come back, especially when you're releasing your next feature. Uh, let us know, and we would love to have you on. Maybe you'll show us a clip. <gasps> oh, my God. No way. <laughs> <laughs> we could do that, couldn't we? Yeah, we can. I mean, we, we have the technology. You, you see have it. the technology. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll have something better than Spectrum Internet at that point. <laughs> dear Spectrum. <laughs> How do I spell that? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's Dear Spectrum, <laughs> please die. <laughs> um, but no, uh, Julia, this has been abs an absolute pleasure. No. We cannot yeah. thank you enough for being on here and being with us. Thank you for having me. Um, please check out her uh, her website, friendlyfilmmaker.com. Um, all her shorts, her YouTube channel, everything's on through there. We'll have links to it on our website, therandomchristianshow.com. Julia, you are an amazing, wonderful lady. We thank you yeah. so much. Tell your husband we're jealous. And uh, <laughs> he's an amazing man uh, for putting up. Our wives would totally sympathize with him so um we'll, we'll start a support group right <laughs> there you go there you go it's kind of like, like what this show really is. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. anyway julia thank you again so much please come thank back you. we will see you soon you are the bestest awesomest person ever thank you so much for being with us thank you very much <laughs> for having me this is so fun <laughs> all right see you julia thank you for Bye. being here Ah, and there it is. Thank you again to The Random Christian Show for having me. I look forward to being back. And who knows, maybe William Shatner will be part of my film. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.